What's up everybody, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios. Welcome to today's tutorial. I know a lot of you guys have been having problems with Twitch.tv and setting up your live streaming with Flash Media Encoder. Now it sounds like a mouthful of words, but it's actually very simple. You guys are having problems with using Adobe's Flash Media Live Encoder and figuring out how to connect to Twitch.tv in order to live stream. It's actually a lot easier once you figure it out, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it yourself. First off, you're going to go to Twitch.tv and then you're going to log into your account. Once you've logged into your account, you're going to go to the top area where you can click your settings and click dashboard. Mine is Lightcast Studios and I click dashboard. Once you've reached your broadcaster dashboard, you can see that I'm offline. But instead of noticing that, you're going to click streaming apps right here. It's going to open this link and we're going to leave this link in the description and we're going to change it as the link changes itself. And you will be prompted to this area where it says broadcast while you play. The most important thing is finding where it says Flash Media Encoder. Now, the benefit of using Flash Media Encoder over Wirecast and XSplit is the fact that it's easy to stream high quality and also it's free. XSplit is also free, but it's too simple. And if you guys want to learn how to use Flash Media Encoder, then download Flash Media Encoder. When you click download, you will be prompted to the Adobe website and you have to click download. And also, you're going to have to log into your Adobe account. Now, if you don't have one, you have to create an Adobe account and then download the program. Once you have the program downloaded, you're going to open the program. Now, once you've opened the program and you're like, okay, so I want to use this program now, how do I use it? Well, obviously, we have a couple of little problems that we run into before we even start. First off, we don't have an FMS URL, Flash Media Server URL, and or a stream code. Now, the stream key or stream code is found off of Twitch.tv. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to go to where it says configuration next to the download link and we're going to click config and we're going to download the XML file. This XML file is very important for when you start Flash Media Encoder. It'll give you all the links for you when you download the file for you give, to give you the URL and your stream uh, live code. So what we're going to do is we're going to click file and we're going to open profile and we're going to open the XML file. Now, it'll open up a little pop-up with an error saying some of the tags in the profile have incorrect or no values. Flash Media Live Encoder will use default values for these tags. For details, please refer to encoding logs. Just click OK, don't worry about it. It's talking about some of the codes I'm missing on, um, on the profile, but you don't have to worry about that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our video and we're going to set up our audio. I have my audio for my headset set up to my microphone. Um, on my Turtle Beaches, we have it set to format uh, MP3, keep it in mono or stereo. It sounds nice in uh, stereo, but um, you know, just keep it at mono or whatever. Um, we're going to keep the sample rate at the highest 44 100 uh, hertz. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the input size and output size. Now this is important. Depending on how fast your computer is, may determine how fast you can record your video. So what you want to do is you're gonna, you want to go to... Um, we're going to type in speed test and what we're going to do is open speed test and check how fast our computers upload and download speed are as you can tell i'm using as you can tell i'm using verizon fios so it should be pretty fast but some people don't have verizon fios so you will not be able to test your speeds this will determine how fast you can uh, render your videos and also how fast you can run your bit rates in kilobytes on your video Pay attention to your download speed and your upload speed. Your upload speed is the one that will tell you exactly how fast you're going to be showing your videos live on your uh, computer. Keep in mind we are also recording our desktop so it will lag a little bit if we're recording because we're recording our desktop and not using capture card or a console uh, to record. If I didn't mention this before, we're going to be sh we're showing you guys how to record your desktop to play to, to record PC games, but you can also do this if you have a capture card and or a PVR or whatever DVR recording um, box that you have to record your consoles. Now we have our download speed and we have our upload speed. Our upload speed is 32.78 megabytes per second, which is actually extremely fast. So we can keep our kilobytes up. I recommend keeping your kilobytes around 1,000 to 2,000 around that range. You don't want it too low or too high or else your video will be choppy or too laggy at the moment. So in order to record in HD, what you're going to do is change your input size to 1280 by 720p. Your input will also automatically change and then your output will be 1280 by 720p. 
Now when you're recording your video, you will end up having HD recording and it will look really nice when you're live streaming. We're going to change our bitrate to 1000 at the minimum. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click here where it says stream and we're going to change the key to whatever the key says right here. Now if you guys already have the FMS URL, just simply click show key because this is the most important part and you click uh, and highlight this key. We're going to copy it and we're going to paste it into here. Once you have it pasted, we're going to click connect and it should automatically connect to the server. Voila, it says connect, it says it's connected and you will see that it says connected right here. Now before we do anything, we're going to go to ManyCam and we're going to go to find where it shows our um, our desktop. Now if you guys don't have ManyCam, I will also have the link to the program in the description and you can also use any other program. Uh, I think it's called M AMR Record um, dot, or Rec TV, AM Rec TV I think. And that's a really good program for when you want to record uh, your PlayStation, Xbox or your PC. But I do recommend using ManyCam, it's very simple and you can still record in HD also. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click uh, Sources and we're going to click Desktop. What we're going to do is we're going to set up the area. And as you can see automatically it has set up the area for us. We can drag it, we can make it bigger. And if you want it to record the entire size, voila. And click OK. And it should record the entire screen. So now we're recording in HD our screen here and it will show up on the um, source here located on Flash Media Live. And all you need to do now is click start. Make sure you have everything set up. The format is on uh, H.264. I think by default set it to VP6. But again, MP4 is the way to go. And click start and now it's going to show up a little area right here that says video encoding started and audio encoding started. Now that I go to uh, uh, my channel, it should show up live that I'm streaming on twitch.tv. I know the TV. tutorial was a little bit long, I know um, but I hope you guys learned a lot and also you can hear my voice recording in the background. So everything works really well and um, my voice in, and my video is picking up really well and you can tell it's recording 720p. So that's basically how you record HD live streaming with Flash Media Live Encoder. I hope you guys learned a lot. And um, don't forget to check out my other videos. If you like this tutorial or you have any questions, please leave a comment below and like it. Um, and if you'd like to see more content, please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me. And I do enjoy you guys' feedback. Until next time, this is Lightcast Studios, and thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.